No joke, this is the best intro I've ever done to an Iron Man episode. I got the tooth key and the loop key from one QBD kill. That is unique. Apparently they made an update on like how jewelry looks, so look at this. All these amulets and the rings looks like absolute shit in my opinion. But the worst thing out of all of these things is my death touch bracelet. It looks like a pile of goo, I can't even see what the hell it is anymore, it just looks like nothing. I don't know what the hell that is. That's a bad update, I have to say, but if you guys like it, then please let me know in the comments. It would be cool to see what you guys think. I think it's absolutely horrible. Sweet, with 33 kill count left, I get a torsion spring. Now, I obviously don't have that. The only one I have is like five of the sights, and so I need two more now. It's going to be the stabilizer and the frame, so that's the one I miss. So if I get any of those, that's going to be great. Holy shit! I just got a stabilizer, which is one of the items that I need, so I only need the uh, frame now, I think it is. And I got a visage as well, so, you know, I'll take that money, that's decent money, that's 450k, I guess, so let's bank that and continue, that's really good. I think visage is 1 in 100 from QBD, and I've got 3 in 1 task. I don't remember how many kills I started with, but it was like 60 something, 65 or something. So I have been really lucky on that side, but I'll definitely take it. That is a whole black dragon task completed on QBD, and I got three different parts, and I'm going to just loot the last one here. Let's see how many overall QBD kills I have. 322, let's see what the last loot is. And it is some um, onyx ball tips. I actually got a bunch of these. I have like, I don't know how many I have in the back. Actually, I've used quite a few of them on runite balls and alked it for money already, but I should have like 400 or something, so it's not too bad money. Staff of Light from an Ice Strike Room task, you know, I could augment these, which I did before, but I'm not sure if it's actually worth it, as I'm just buying Sun Spears anyways. But, you know, it saves me like 600k, I guess, because I don't actually have to buy it back, you know, because one Sun Spear costs 600k. So I guess it's not too bad, after all. You know, I'm actually retarded, like, I dressed up my whole character for a certain dress-up clue scroll, and it's the wrong one. I, I, sometimes I just derp out completely and there's no reason for me to record here, but I just wanted to say I'm retarded sometimes. You know that, but I just wanted to state it again. Anyways, I actually got two Staff of Light on that task, so it was a really good one. So let's open the hard casket. Actually, I should probably clear out some inventory. I don't know why I have so many things in my inventory. Like, half of this wasn't even needed because I just picked the wrong goddamn dress-up clue. But anyways, some of the caskets, see what we get. Well, that is, like, okay, how many times during the series has it been 69? Like, at this point, it's almost scary. It's like Jagex just sets my character in for always getting something with 69. Well, I mean, it's good joke, Kappa, like, it's 10 out of 10 comedy, right? 69, hilarious. You know, actually getting all the supplies, like base parts and everything for invention is quite a pain on an Iron Man. I currently need just a bunch of energies to be able to just make the uh, divine charges because I'm completely out. I have like one hour left, I think. There you go, one hour left. And I had like five minutes left just a second ago, but I used all my energies to be able to get up to uh, one hour. So I kind of need a lot of these elder energies currently, so I'm just going to be doing this for a bit. And I guess some Sliskillion pieces. I wonder how long these are going to be in the game. Uh, because they give me like 40,000 herbler experience every single maybe it's not 40 like maybe it's like 30k every single week which is really good um, but yeah I'm just going to be doing this until I have probably like maybe 10,000 I'm not sure but I use like the first option option so it shouldn't take all too long but when I have 10k I'm just going to make charges and then after that I think I'm going to do some Araxor so that's going to be quite cool I got approximately 8 hour charge from that, which is really good, and actually I think the next kill I will hit level 10 on the Sun Spears, I'm going to disassemble that as well. But anyways, let's see what loot I get for the first kill, and we get some U logs. That is an amount of Saradomin, Bruce. That is my weapon level 10, so let's just quickly disassemble. Ah! You know what, I'll just save it for now because I want to do one more kill, so I don't have to go and buy a new one and augment that as well. So I'm just going to save it for now and I'll disassemble it the next kill. Let's see what we get, and we get coins! Have I got coins before? I don't think so, maybe, but that's a weird number as well, but alright, I'll take it. I actually managed to hit 106 HP on that, so that's pretty cool, or constitution, whatever you want to say, that's 26 million experience by the way, so that's actually really cool, so let's see what we get for the last kill. That is very lackluster to be honest, so I've got so many door fitzies from this boss, it's absolutely madness, like, imagine if all of these would have been leg pieces, man, just imagine. 
You know, I actually thought doing invention on my Iron Man was going to be like the biggest pain in the ass, like beyond painful, like getting to 99 would literally take me like a year or something because like getting all the supplies and stuff that I haven't actually saved up would be like the worst thing ever, but it's actually not that bad and sure, I'm only like going to be 56 or something now, let's see what I get. Yeah, 56. Um, even though I'm only 56, I feel like I thought getting 56 would take like ages, so it's not that bad after all and um, yeah, that's 56. Neat. Every single time you see me do clue scrolls, by the way, is because I'm doing some casual slayer for money, charms, you know, leveling invention, whatever it is, and I still do miss some combat stats, like, I miss one defense level, I miss a lot of strength levels, because it's not that good of a skill, and I miss a few attack levels as well. I only really miss one, I guess, because then you can use Drygors, and that's the important thing. But yeah, obviously I want to get 99 in all of them, and just doing some casual slayer is always good, so let's see what we get for this hard clue scroll, and we get... That's a lot of junk, actually, but the next one we can reroll, so that's really cool. So for the past day, I've just been training defense, and I've been doing it at Roari. It's just because I wanted to get 99, and there you go. It's like 800,000 experience done just on Roari, which is pretty good, because I've gotten a bunch of keys, and maybe one of these is going to give me a Signa. Now, for some reason, I actually got so many Quintus keys, it's actually unreal. And keep in mind, I got like maybe... 20 keys overall, maybe, and I think maybe 10 of them was Quintus. I can't be exactly sure on that, but I would say something um, along those lines. So it was really frequent, I'm going to go over to the bank and see exactly how many I've got, and then after that I'm going to be using all the keys that is actually useful for me, aka the ones that I don't have the signets of yet, which is the Secundus one, the Sextus one, and the Quintus one. So me getting a lot of Quintus keys was just perfect. So I'm going to actually just go here and then see. Alright, so I got 7 plus, there you go. Oh, that's 10 Quintus keys, which is really good because that's the keys I need so obviously I don't expect to get anything from these three Secundus ones, three Sextus and then 10 of the Quintus ones But it would be really cool if I would get one, you know I have these as well and I can get Sirenic scales from these or just the second signet I guess uh, the ones I have are these I already have two of the Turgis ones So I actually don't need the Turgis ones whatsoever But I'm just going to get the skill cape and then I'll just do the the to do the keys not the signets So I guess from now on I'm just going to get ranged experience when I do ranged and I'm going to be training just Strength and attack really I'm going to try to do all the slayer assignment that gives me you know strength or attack Because I kind of want to max out me combat overall, you know, it would be pretty cool um, But let's just talk to this guy. I bought the 120 defense cape last time I was at this guy on my main account, so I don't even know uh, yes, please me sell the skill cape of defense, and I guess the option just doesn't even exist if you have, um, you don't even have 120. So, that should be just, you know, common facts, but let's equip that. And yeah, that's the defense cape, it's like the most common cape in the game, so there's nothing to show off, but I, you just have to do it every single time, right? So the Secundus ones and the Sextus ones didn't really give me anything, but it was only six of them, and the loot I got from those are just here in my inventory, if you want to see that, some herbs and dragon longsword for, I guess, Alk money and stuff like that. But the charms are not too bad, actually, so I'm going to be doing all the ten Quintus now one, and, dude, if I get a Quintus Signet, it's going to be heaven, because Quintus is the one I hate the most, because you take so much damage if you fail for, like, half a second, so hopefully I don't die and waste keys, and hopefully... In these 10 keys, I get a signet. If I don't, I'm actually going to be kind of upset. Alright, so I didn't get a signet, but I did get a Sirenic scale, and the overall drops from Legions is just very good. But uh, the reason why I really wanted to get a Quintus signet there is not because it's such an annoying boss, even though it really is an annoying boss, I hate it. It's because when you do something for like a whole day, and you want to get something out of it. Sure, I did get 99 defense, that was the goal, so no worries, I'm not disappointed on that part. But it kind of sucks when you, like, do PVMing for a whole day to get something out of it. And then in the end, it's like nothing happened. And what I mean by that is the drop rate doesn't get increased the more kills you do. It's literally just the same. So I could have done, like, 1 billion kills, even though that's, like, extremely unlikely. I could have done that, and I still wouldn't be further to getting the, you know, the Ascension crossbow if I didn't get any of the signals in those kills. So it, it kind of is annoying to set PVMing goals. And, you know, I could say, I'm going to make a video where I will get my first leg piece in the next one. Sure, I could do that, but that could take literally months. 
if I'm unlucky. Like, I mean, I've done 82 Ar Araxor kills now. That's double the drop rate of a leg piece, right? I should have two leg pieces by now if it should be on the drop rate. Um, but I haven't got any. So that's kind of how it is. And that's why some of these videos take a long time to make because I want at least something interesting in the video, right? I don't just want to be clips like this where I just ramble because it sucks. It really does. It's not that entertaining. I just wanted to let you guys know that if it takes a while to make a video, it's not because I'm slacking because I'm actually not doing that right now. I'm actually playing a lot uh, now that I have time for it again, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, things take time and that's just how it is. But I'm just going to do some Araxor now because I really feel like it. So maybe I'll get a leg piece now. It's actually currently my favorite path, aka 2 and 3, meaning there's no ads, which is most likely everyone's favorite path, because the ads, they really suck. So let's see if we can get anything cool, and we get Hydrix Baltics for the first. Pretty useless, but I didn't really have many restores left. Got a bunch of those at least. What the fuck? I just got the defense chart. Well, that was quick, I just hit 99 defense like a second ago. Alright, sweet. I know there's like a thing you can put all of these in, so I should probably get that, I don't have it yet, but yeah, let's see what the second loot is. Not that good, uh, I mean, summoning gains, I guess. Sweet, we have time for a fourth kill on this aura, so let's see what the third loot is going to be. That's a lot of ores. Yes, ores. Not runes. I didn't fuck it up, I'm so proud of myself. That's ores. Fuck yeah. I actually have 12 minutes left on my aura after the fourth kill, so we actually have time for a fifth one. I didn't really expect that, but I guess this middle path is just way too quick compared to the first one. Let's see what the fifth loot, fourth loot is going to be. 49 Atlanta Dimes, alright. Let's see if we can get a leg piece on the last one. Please give me a leg piece on the last one. Jesus Christ, dude, I was so close to dying on that kill, not even and it wasn't even because I fucked up. The core, you know, the black core that jumps around, it landed on me instantly, and then I moved one step and it jumped on me again. Holy shit, that was close, I was like 200 HP. Let's see what the last loot is going to be. That's not a leg piece, unfortunately, so we have done like 87 something kills now, I think it's 87 or 88, we can actually check that real quick. Um, and we have no leg piece yet, that's 88 kills even. So, 8-8 eight, eight Araxor kills, not a single leg piece. That kind of sucks, to be honest with you, but I guess that's some decent Alk money anyway, so... Not too bad. I'm actually crying on the inside. We haven't actually done an elite clue in a really long time, it feels like, but I did get one from Mithril Dragon Slayer assignment, so let's see what I get from this one, hopefully something good. That's not good, that's actually really bad. Well, the next one we can reroll at least, that's how many? 73 elites. Have I done 73 elites? Alright, sweet. I have no idea how, but somehow I did manage to do 5 Helver kills solo in one inventory without a shield even, so that's pretty cool actually, but I haven't done a Reaper assignment for like really really long time, so I thought I'm just going to do this now, and the reason why I haven't is because I had Helver, it's an absolute annoying boss, I hate it, and soloing it is the worst, in my opinion, but I did it in one trip, which is absolutely crazy, uh, so yeah, we got 15 Reaper points and 8.5k Slayer, and now I can just get other Slayer assignments, which is great, I'm going to fish for Araxor assignments, because they give the most Reaper points, I guess, and I'm going to try to extend, maybe I should, I'm not sure, I think that would give me 6 Araxor kills, I might not be able to do that in one day, so it might not actually be worth it, uh, but let's just quickly see how many Reaper points I have, because I can't I kind of want to get to 300 so I can get a Reaper necklace, it's really good for our Raxor. So we need 109, wait, is that 109? Yeah, it is. Reaper points to be able to buy a Reaper necklace, so... From now on, I'm going to try to do Reaper assignments daily again, unless I get really shitty ones, and then I might just delay it, because I'm lazy sometimes. So after skipping three assignments, I got Telos, Gregorovic, Hurricane, and then finally Araxi. So I will only get 50% of the points, but I just want to see how many points I get from Araxi, because it's been so long since I, did it, since I did it on my main, I can't remember. So I can just like add 50% after that and see how many points I get. Normally, if I would get it on the first or the second assignment. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here, and then I'm going to start the next one with doing those Araxor kills. And it's actually four, and I think that's a good amount, because I can do that 100% every single single time without, you know, resetting the enrage with pheromones or anything like that, which I actually have two of in the bank, so I'm going to show you guys that, so I can do that whenever I want to do that, which is absolutely amazing, so I can do maximum of like, well, sharpshooter, if I extend that two hours, I can do like 10 kills maybe? on one path, in the middle path, if it's 2-3, I can do 10 kills, so maybe I'll actually do that in the start of the next video, but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did, please leave a like, if you want to see more of my content, then you can subscribe, and thank you all for watching, see you in the next one.